Hi, I'm Nina with Avid Armor, and today we are going to be doing a complete walkthrough on how to get started with the Avid Armor Guide Series Chamber Vacuum Sealers. I encourage you to watch this video all the way through so you have all the information you need to get started. Remember, these sealers are very heavy, so you may need someone to help you lift it out of the box and place it on a sturdy tabletop or counter. We're going to be going through the quick start guide that was included with your sealer. So go ahead, grab it, follow along, and let's get started. All right, now that your sealer is unboxed and you've removed all the plastic wrap, we're gonna go ahead and dive into the chamber to remove everything from in there. So all you have to do is lower the lid bail and the lid will automatically open. We'll go ahead and grab everything out. We've got power cord, maintenance kit items. So if you ever need to do any maintenance on your sealer later down the road, as well as for adding oil. We have the accessory hose to vacuum seal external canisters, oil for adding oil, sample bags, avocado, and lastly, we have the filler plate. The filler plate is used to occupy space in the chamber when you are vacuum sealing smaller items. This can also double as a cutting board. So we're gonna go ahead, put this back into the chamber because we're gonna use it when we run our test sample bag. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step, which is adding oil to your guide series chamber vacuum sealer. Okay, the very first thing that we have to do before we can use our chamber vacuum sealer for the very first time is to add oil. There may be residual oil in the pump already, but we have to add oil to the appropriate level before we can use it for the first time. For this step, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver or drill, the oil bottle that came with the sealer, as well as the oil refill bottle. Okay, I've already gone ahead and added oil to the oil refill bottle so we can add oil to the machine. Now we just need your Phillips head screwdriver and locate the four screws on the back panel of the machine. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew all four screws so we can remove this back panel. Okay, now that you have the back panel removed, you'll be able to see the oil level indicator on the back of the pump. This is where we're going to need to fill the oil to. All you have to do is locate the yellow oil fill plug and unscrew it. We'll set it aside, grab your oil fill bottle and slowly add oil to the pump until you see the oil level rise to that middle oil fill level. Occasionally check to see if it's at the appropriate level. We're gonna add just a tiny bit more. It appears to be at a good spot, so now we will Put the oil fill plug back onto the pump. And now we'll replace the back panel again. All right, now that we have the panel back on and the oil has been added, now we're going to go ahead and power on the sealer. Now it's time to power on your sealer. Go ahead, grab your power cord, plug it into the back of the machine and your electrical outlet. Once it's plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and open the lid and then locate the power button on the left-hand side of the control panel and press it in to turn it on. Now that the sealer is turned on, the next step is to run the pump conditioning program. So let's go ahead and get started.
Now, the next step is to run the pump conditioning program. When you very first power on your sealer, it is going to be set to the default settings. If you close the lid, it's gonna automatically start a vacuum cycle. So you wanna make sure not to do that before you run the pump conditioning program. What the pump conditioning program does is it lubricates the pump and all the internal components to make sure that your sealer is running at peak performance from the get-go. So what you'll need to do is press the button right here that has the little oil droplets. That is the pump conditioning program function. When you press that, it will display PCP. And then all you have to do is press the check mark and then we'll close the lid. This process is gonna run for about 10 minutes and then we'll be ready to test our very first sample bag. So we'll go ahead, start the cycle and we'll be back. We've completed running the pump conditioning program. So next, we're going to show you how to adjust your vacuum and seal time settings. We wanna make sure that you're confident in knowing how to operate the sealer before you run your very first vacuum cycle. When the pump conditioning program completes, it will still display the PCP on the display panel. So all we have to do is press the pump conditioning program button and it will reset the sealer to the default display. So to enter into the vacuum time settings, you're gonna press the check mark and you will see this uh, vacuum time light illuminate. We are going to change the vacuum time setting to 50 seconds for our test bag. So to adjust it, you're gonna use the plus and minus buttons to lower or uh, increase your vacuum time. Once you have it set to the number that you wish it to be at, you're gonna press the check button and that's gonna to toggle over to the seal time setting and you should see the seal light display. And again, you'll just use the plus or minus button to adjust that seal time setting. We're gonna lower it down to 1.5 um, for whenever you're using an Avid Armor vacuum sealer pouch. Once you've got both those set, all you have to do is press the check mark and it will uh, be ready to run your very first test cycle. We've adjusted our vacuum and seal time settings and now we're ready to run a very simple test cycle. All we're gonna do is we're gonna close the lid it's gonna automatically start a vacuum and seal cycle. You'll see the vacuum gauge begin to move. That means the chamber is under vacuum. You'll see the, the display count down the vacuum and seal cycle. Once it's complete, the lid will pop open. So here we go. All right, when the cycle is complete, the lid will automatically open. Make sure you don't have your head or face or anything above the lid because you don't want to accidentally get hit. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So now that you've run a successful test cycle, we're going to go ahead and run our very first vacuum and seal cycle on an actual bag. Lastly, we're gonna vacuum seal your very first pouch. So you'll need a sample pouch that was included with your sealer and the foam avocado. We're gonna go ahead, put the avocado in the pouch, and then we're gonna place it in the chamber. When you place it in the chamber, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's nice and smooth across the seal bar with the opening of the bag tucked behind the seal bar and is still inside of the chamber. Now, since we've already set all of our vacuum and seal time settings, all we have to do is close the lid. It's gonna run through the whole process and we'll have a completed vacuum sealed avocado when we're done.
All right, once the vacuum cycle is complete, we can go ahead and remove the pouch. We'll wanna inspect it, make sure everything looks good. Check the seal, make sure it's consistent all the way across, make sure there's no wrinkles in it. Also make sure your product is nice and tightly vacuum sealed. If so, it's ready for storage. Now that you've completed the walkthrough, you are ready to vacuum seal your very first item using the Avid Armor Guide Series. If you have any questions whatsoever on how to use your sealer, please reach out and we're happy to help.